Hello everyone, my name is Anime Glitch, and welcome to part 1 from my Let's Play of Devil May Cry 3 Dante's Awakening. And, just like what I said earlier in a previous video, if I complete Devil May Cry 3, this version of the game, in Dante Must Die mode, then I will do a Let's Play of this game, and potentially do a Let's Play or a walkthrough of... Dante Must Die mode, showing you guys all the different tricks and strategies that I used. Some of them do also involve just buying 10 full HP restores just so you can live and make a few mistakes. <laughs> but that's besides the point. The fact is, I beat it. I 100% the game. And I am now able to go through this game for you guys right now in a Let's Play series. Um... I don't know, I, hopefully, I know for a fact I will still be doing live streams. The Let's Play series is just going to be here in between, just so, you know, live streams don't get stale, or if I don't know what to do for a live stream that I could be Let's Playing, or something. But, um, if I had access to record stuff from my PS4, then obviously I would be doing the HD collections, but I can't do that, so... A little bit better, I guess you could say, is just show you guys the original versions. So, yeah. Um, I will talk more as I go through along with this. But, um, with that said, without further ado, let's get this game started. And as you can see, I do have access to um, all the different modes and all the different um, suits for Dante, different skins. But of course, I'll be playing this game in Noma mode, which will be the Japanese version and the Special Edition's hard mode. But, you know, I'll just have to show you guys my strategies and how I was able to get through it. I actually have not played this game in quite some time, though. Uh, I've been practicing more on um, Smash Bros. Ultimate with my PS2 controller. Finally viable for Smash. And um, I I've been doing a lot of schoolwork, so there's that, too, as well. I'm also doing a lot of cleaning around my house. You know, just I've just been pretty busy. Um, but, yeah. I love that. You can um, shoot the loading sign and um, flash it. You can't do that in the special versions, though. I'm in the in the on the HD collections. I mean, but yeah, I'll be quiet so you guys can listen to the story. You've heard of it, haven't you? The legend of Sparta. When I was young, my father would tell me stories about it. Long ago, in ancient times, a demon rebelled against his own kind for the sake of the human race. With his sword. He shut the portal to the demonic realm and sealed the evil entities off from our human world. But since he was a demon himself, his power was also trapped on the other side. I never believed it. I thought it was just a child's fairy tale. But I discovered that this so-called legend wasn't a myth at all. Sparta existed. How do I know? of Sparta, both of them. Though the same blood of their father flowed through their veins, the two battled each other fiercely like our enemies. It seemed as if they derived some sort of twisted pleasure from this brotherly fighting. left standing. 
for business yet. I haven't even picked a name for this joint, and I'm already getting calls. You a customer too? Well, if you want to use the bathroom, help yourself. The toilet's in the back. Is your name Dante, son of Sparta? Where did you hear that? From your brother. He sent this invitation for you. Please, accept it. Well, that was quite an introduction to the series, because I will be playing these games chronologically, not from game release, but from like timeline-wise, as in this game is a prequel to the first game, so I'll be playing it like that, and I'll eventually go through the first game and the second game, maybe. I, I have no idea. All I know is I, I'm very confident in going through this game. Um... I'll, I'll talk more as I keep going along. Uh, one thing I do like to say, though, is that um, I do like the fact that you can shoot and slice that loading symbol. If, although I did say it earlier, I just really had a shout out for that too as well because it, it, it's, just, it's just really fun just waiting and then just having to shoot the loading sign. And it, it, if, um, if, if the loading sign does go red, if you hold up and then press triangle, you can, um, you can destroy it. So yeah, which is pretty cool. Um, but, um, with I said that further ado, let's get this stage started. Now, obviously, I don't have items with me right now. I don't have any upgrades for Dante because this is starting out on a whole new load. So I'm just going to have to do this all just, learn, just, just as a learning curve. I have to just get better. Now, obviously I've beaten this game in nothing must die mode, so I must already be pretty good enough as it is. But one thing is, when you try the game out, and you're so used to being so overpowered, and now you have to start all over from the beginning, it's, eh, it's kind of like, well, this is uh, quite a different curve. 
a, a different feel, I guess you can say. So you're gonna see this three hit combo a lot just to get rid of the enemies. Um, eventually when I buy upgrades for the Rebellion Sword and um, when I get other weapons too as well, I'll be doing more um, complex combos. Now I don't know the super advanced stuff like uh, um, like a jump canceling or whatnot. I'm still kind of learning that. I mean, like, I can kind of do it, but I'm not that good at it, though, which is a sad thing. Um, eventually, when I finish doing the Let's Play of this game, I will, you know, talk more about my experience with this game, uh, introduction to the series as a whole, and um, just other overall thoughts that are pretty cool, too, as well just give you guys an all way out but um yeah There we go. Alrighty, now as of for everything, I'll be... Oh yeah, I forgot. I, 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 I kind of made two save files of the same thing, just in case if I ever needed to... Um, if I accidentally delete the save file with over another one, at least I have access to those two, just in case. But yeah. I would continue next in the story, I really would, but that would um, pretty much go to the next stage. And I would also cue the next cutscene too as well. So I'm gonna just leave the um, in, leave the controller cursor on mission select. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this series so far and want to see more of these episodes please let me know and if you get if you guys do want me to do a, uh, a quick go through like walk through of Dante must die mode on how I beat it I, I will definitely do it of course it's been a while since I've played the game it's I mean like it hasn't been that long but you can get rusty without playing a game for a day or two you know just 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 for just for a solid second even but like yeah, let me know what you guys want, and hopefully I'll be able to deliver. If you guys have any ideas on other games that I can Let's Play to as well that I have on my PS2, please let me know. Um, I have a lot of big games to go through to as well, so it would be nice to cover those games and provide some type of content for you guys. Instead of just live streaming all the time and then, and then not being able to talk because I don't have a mic for my computer, you know... Just a little few things here and there. Um, pretty soon I will be doing a live stream of Hyper Metroid, uh, Super Metroid ROM hack, which is my favorite ROM hack of Super Metroid, and I kind of want to go through it. Um, I used to do, I used to, I, I, I did a live stream of it before, a long, long time ago. Um, it was my first video that ever reached 200 views. It had like 225 or whatever, but because of the whole copyright claim from Nintendo, or whatever, I was scared that I was gonna get like a copyright strike and then lose my channel, so I didn't do it. So then I did Zero Mission instead, but then Zero Mission got the copyright claim. So I was uh, like, okay, what am I gonna do now? But now knowing that Nintendo won't be doing that anymore, I, I'm, I, I have more confidence in myself on actually live streaming those games, which is the reason why I just did a whole 
darn marathon on doing um, Metroid Zero Mission right there and the other Metroid games that I was playing, uh, Metroid Project Base. But yeah, um, as a turns of going through the original Super Metroid, I'll most likely do that too as well. Um, I'll have that be one of the last Metroid streams I do, is going through the original. I just like going through the fan games just to show you guys those games. And, you know, I personally like them, so I don't mind playing them. But, like, when it comes to playing the original, I'll play the original version, probably last on my list. Just so you guys can see me just go through the original game after going through all this fan stuff or whatnot. <laughs> but, yeah. I think that is about it. I'm done rambling for right now. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you do, please subscribe or like or whatever. I'm not trying to beg for that type of stuff. But I'm at 149. Need to get the 150 or whatnot. But yes, I'll see you guys next time in part two. And hopefully part two is even just as epic or even more than part one because that was a pretty cool entrance of the series. But yeah, with that said, without further ado, my name is Adam Glitch, and I'm signing out.